Hello, welcome to another video. In today's video, I am going to be showing you how to make your own resource pack. And a resource pack changes the look of something, and I'm going to be changing the look today of diamonds, creepers, and bedrock. Let's get started. Okay, so now we... First thing we need to do is go into options and then we need to find resource packs. These are all of the available resource packs. I made some myself and I have a ton of other ones, but we need to open the pack folder. Now inside this pack I have a lot, but you probably won't have any because you might not have made any resource packs. But you'll need to create a new folder and call it something. I think I'm going to call it tutorial, but make sure that you don't use the word data pack in any way like the word pack or something because it will not work i tried it a couple of times so inside your tutorial or anything you call it make a document or page and call it pack.mc meta pack.mc meta and then i need to copy it from another one here i made a couple of them so have pack.mc meta here and I'm gonna leave this in the description of the video. Okay, so now that I copied it, let's go back to our tutorial data, I mean resource pack. We're making a resource pack and let's put it in. So it's pack format five, you know what that is from, but the cute mobs is different. By the way, pack format five is just for 1.15 and 16. Now, in the quotation, I mean, yeah, the quotation marks, you need to put the name of your data pack or else it will not work. That might be the second reason that your thing doesn't work. Now, go to your Minecraft page. It's dot Minecraft and inside it, you need to find the versions in the versions I have a lot, but I'm going to do a resource pack for 1.16.1. 1.16.2 1. did come out, but I'm going to do it for this one. Now, you need to open the jar, 1.16.1 1. 1 jar, and inside it, you will need to get the assets. Also, you will need to transfer that assets over to your thing. So you grab it, go over to your data pack, and drop it in. It will copy, extract the files, and then you will be ready. Then once it extracts everything, you can close it out. And now you can start making your resource pack. Now for my resource pack, I'm going to be using GIMP. It's a coloring app, pretty good. You can use anything else that basically works for you. So the block part over here has every type of block in the game. Now, the entity is for all of the mobs. Also, it's for something like Elytra and Shield, Enchanting Table Book, basically all of the mobs, including two, and all of the stuff. Now, the environment is if you want to like change the sun, the moon, the clouds, and sky, rain, snow, basically all of that stuff. Now the GUI is basically like what you find inside blocks, like an anvil, for example, grindstone, horse, inventory, I don't know, all of those stuff. Now the next one is the item, which is one of them. We're gonna be make, changing the look of diamonds in this video. Now, we also have particle, and that's I think that's the last really important one. It's all of the particles. Oh, yeah, and there's also the painting, which has, like, all of the paintings in Minecraft if you want to change that. Now, we have the models, the armor, and that's if, like, for the armor you're wearing instead of the one that's in your inventory. So, now, let's go and make our first one. Now, let's click on the diamond, but actually not like that. We need to open with GIMP, and okay, it loaded up. Now, I need to, first of all, select the pencil tool, change your opacity to 100, or else it will be really bad. 
change the size to one pixel, and then you can basically do anything with the diamond. Now I'm gonna do it pretty quickly. I'm not gonna go really into actually like coloring it. So let's take this color and replace all of the darker types of blues. So like there, we can also do this one and that, that. I think that is almost it. Yep, okay, that's it. Now let's change to a different blue, like this one I think will be good. And let's change all of the other types, like these types. And you might see what I'm going with this. And yeah, I'm trying to make the diamond look kind of enchanted in a way. Okay, now let's go over to this. Actually, no, this color. Uh, let's actually do this. It's like lighter. And let's replace these colors. The next ones are going to be quicker. J just this one, I want to actually work on it. Okay, we're almost done. Now we need to change a little bit more. Um, I think I need to make a color. So let's do this. Let's try to not make it darker, just a really light, light blue. Okay, now we can change all of these. And the diamond is looking kind of terrible, actually. Yeah, it's not looking the best, but okay, it actually has some kind of enchanted feel to it. Okay, maybe I'll also do the outline in a really dark blue. Yeah, I have one of those. Okay, let's like outline it now. Oh, I did that wrong. Okay, almost outlined it. Yeah, that looks a bit better. Also, we'll be able to see that the diamond changed because of this outline. And I think we're, yeah, I think we're done. Now you need to click overwrite diamond PNG and it should say overwritten. And then you can just close it. Oh, wait, I went out of everything. Okay, so now if you click on something else, you'll see that the diamond has an enchanted look to it. Yeah, it did change. Now, what else did we wanted to do? I think, yeah, we wanted to do a creeper. That's if you wanna make it a charge creeper. Let's go back into GIMP and make a creeper. Now for the mobs, they're stretched out like this. So you're, you will kind of need to see where it is. Let's take this gray. Yeah, you can see that the creeper isn't like an actual creeper. It's like flatted and out. Let's make the creeper gray. Okay. And I think that just looks way too much like the creeper it used to look like. Yeah, let's give it blue eyes. Wow, I'm really messing up this creeper. Okay, this is way faster than the diamond, but I think I'm done. You'll be able to see it, right? It looks a little bit different from a normal creeper. Okay, now... Okay, yeah, I wanted to change a block and... Let's do bedrock, let's search it up. And we just did, and now let's open it. For some other blocks not like bedrock, you will actually need a different one. You will need to change the top, the bottom, and the size like differently. And what I'm trying to do with the bedrock is just like a quick cross. That's actually like just, just what I wanna do a big red X in the center. Okay, I'm doing pretty well. Okay, I messed up there. Actually, yeah, I can fix that. I hope I don't mess up anymore. Okay, uh, let's, oh, wait. I actually, well, that's quite annoying. Well, I guess I'll just have to stay with it because I don't want to restart that. That'll just take way too much time. You know what, it's taking a lot of time. Let's just try it like this. Why am I being so careful with it? It's a tutorial, whatever. It's not an art lesson. <laughs> okay, so I made a cross. That's good enough. You'll, you'll definitely be able to see this. And yeah, I 
think that's basically it. Okay. Now, I think, yeah, we, it's not yet in here, but that's because we need to reload. And now, go back into resource packs, and if it's not at top, it probably will be at the bottom. And yes, see, tutorial, it's there. And now, we should be able to reload. Done, and you can already see, we have some new stuff. The diamond looks extra shiny. The, wait, the creeper, you can't see it. You can see, yeah, the bedrock, it's a red X. And, yeah. Okay, and now the creeper looks, looks like, yeah, the bedrock actually looks pretty cool. But, yeah, you're probably wondering if the creeper actually works. Wow, this trail is actually super annoying. Okay, you know, I'm just wasting time. Let's see the creeper. And yeah, the face changed. You can do this with any mob. It's so easy. Oh, I hope my trail doesn't ignite it. Because that will be pretty annoying. This mansion... Yeah, I... Me and my friend actually remade this mansion. And it took, like, a long time. So, actually, yeah. I hope the creeper doesn't blow it up. Yeah, that was close. But I now want to show you another resource pack that I made. I'll turn off that one and I'll turn on Cute Mobs. Cute Mob is just like another variant of it that I made. By the way, I did like a post with it on Twitter and yeah, it was pretty cool. <laughs> okay, so the Creeper, I uh, almost ignited it, but you can see everything is back. Now, let's go here. Wait, where are the cows? There were cows here. Somebody took the cows. Well, cows are actually what I'm looking for. Oh, I see where the cows have went. Yep, they're everywhere. And you can see I just made the eyes. They look just hilarious. Now, I also changed the sheep and the pig. So I changed the pig and also the sheep. Wait, I'm going to get the sheep too. It's not in the spawnics, it's just... Okay, here's the pig. Actually, wait, I want to save the pig for later. It's hilarious. So that's the sheep. The sheep is quite annoying. It doesn't like looking at me. Yeah, the sheep just doesn't like looking at me. And let's see the pig. See, the pig is hilarious. Like, it actually has those really cute eyes. Yeah, I made a post on, like, with these mobs at Twitter this morning. Yeah. And also, if you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, turn on notifications. If you didn't watch my previous video, please do that. Also, check out my Twitter at, at TGWCreeperYT. And I'll see you tomorrow for another video. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Oh, why are you still here? Bye.